Hey, how's it going? Spy here with another Scrap Mechanic Fallout Shelter episode. So we got a few new things added to the Fallout Shelter here, but this episode might be a little shorter than usual because I've just been spending my time actually building a new area, which you guys will see in a bit. So the atrium here doesn't have anything different to it, except it has a new room there. So we're going to head to the bottom floor of the atrium, and we are going to check out that new room. And this new room right here is actually the storage room. Now this was a long requested room for the Fallout Shelter, and I finally made it. In Fallout 3's Vault 101, I believe they actually had two storage rooms down here, but I made it into one, and it looks pretty good. It's a little small though. But inside, you guys will notice there are some shelves here with some supplies, just some boxes, some food, some boots, and general stuff like that, I guess. <laughs> but we also have this high stacker or this forklift here. I seen it in the actual follow shelter app, and I thought I should add it. And there it is, guys. It looks pretty good, but it's a little big for the size of the room here. Um, but it's all right. It adds a uh, depth to the room here and it actually works guys if we press this button it moves in one direction i guess it kind of turns to the left which is pretty good actually <laughs> and this button here turns on the lamp there and this button actually lifts the forks look at that that is awesome i don't think it has a real use to this room here like i said it is pretty big compared to the room and in behind it we got this little charging station that also uh doesn't do anything it's just for detail but that's pretty much it for the storage room here i still have to add some little details here and there like some pipes on the roof and change up some colors and stuff like that but if you guys have any suggestions for this room please let me know i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep all this stuff that's on the shelf here i might add another storage room if i can in the future but for now we're just gonna have one but anyways guys, this door here is actually going to lead to the next room I'm going to show you guys. It's going to have a stairway going down to it. But anyways, let's go ahead over there and check that out. So we're going to head down to the cafeteria here. This is the only way down to the next area at the moment. But like I said, that door that is up there is going to lead down here. I just haven't had time to really design it. It's going to lead down to here. And this door is going to lead up to the atrium. Pretty cool. I actually... I actually missed some paint here, didn't I? There we go. I don't know how I missed that, but <laughs> there we go, guys. Looks pretty good. Anyways, this is the hallway to the apartments, and also, I think this is also the hallway to the reactor right here. I'm going to be building that in a future episode, but if we head down here, guys, you will actually see this is very similar to Vault 101's apartment area, but it is a little different. It's quite a bit smaller. In this area here, we got like this little lobby here. This door is not going to go anywhere because in behind it, I'll show you guys. In behind it, we actually have the staircase there. It's just for looks. Maybe like a little storage room can be added there. I'm not quite sure. But anyways, over here, we got another hallway with actually four doors. We can add maybe some more apartment rooms here. Maybe some bathrooms. I might add the bathrooms here. And this could lead to a, another section as well. But... If we go over here, you guys will notice there is actually a room here. And this is currently the only apartment room at the moment. I'm going to be adding more, but I'm trying to limit how many apartment rooms we have so that we can get other types of rooms into the follow shelter. But like I said, if I can build some more of these rooms in the future, I will. Um, I'm just going to keep these ones blocked off, except if I'm going to use them for bathrooms. But if you guys have any ideas for these rooms, let me know. And let's go check out to the apartment room here. And in here, we actually have a pretty simple apartment. There is no bathroom in here because we're going to add a public bathroom. They usually have the public bathrooms for the standard apartment blocks. But in here, we got like a little dining room with a nice painting on the wall. We got another cabinet here with our air conditioning or air filtration unit up there. I, I don't know. <laughs> Some pipes on the roof. We got a nice pink or red couch there with a table there and in here we actually have the bedroom it is very simple it is a lot more simple compared to the overseer's room but we got a single bed here that looks pretty nice and we got a really weird looking really weird looking single chair there <laughs> and then we have a desk pretty simple 
I might be adding some more detail to this room. It looks pretty bland at the moment, but usually these um, apartment rooms don't have too much detail in them, especially the bedroom here. Um, most of them are actually a little more empty than this. I made it small just for that reason. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the apartment room. Like I said, guys, if you have any suggestions for future rooms, let me know. Um, this is currently all I have in terms of progress for the follow-up shelter. This actually took quite a while to build because I had to redo it a few times. And I actually had to figure out how I wanted this to look. I was actually looking at reference images and I got it, I got it down pretty well. Look at this, guys. Pretty cool. Um, I think I might be doing the reactor room next. But I'm not quite sure. I might do the filtration unit room, which is actually at the... Overseer's room just down that empty hall there, but anyways What you guys have been asking me is to actually see the fallout shelter from the bottom and We're gonna do that now. Don't worry. I can get back up and down here. Oh, man. Look at that mess <laughs> Look at all of this stuff. I'm gonna have to clean that up. That probably doesn't help the frames at all Anyways guys like I said in the first two episodes these beams here separate each floor so that we get better performance. Look at that, guys. That is huge. That is way bigger than our sky base that we built. And that is because we were able to separate the whole fallout shelter from the other parts there. Which gives us a lot more performance. And it's getting pretty big, guys. It's getting really big. And I'm still getting about 250 frames per second up there. Well, in some spots, it's a little, it's a little spotty. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this episode. I'm not sure what else to really do um, other than those specific rooms. But if I'm missing anything, let me know. But that's pretty much it for now, guys. So thank you for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.